come home, it feels real good. Real good. I do believe that, uh, well, first let me thank those who showed up today. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, for honoring me and trusting your voice. I don't take it lightly. You're an absolute joy in my heart. Absolute joy in my heart. I look forward to seeing you every time I go. Amen. Thank you. I want to thank you. Sorry, Church, for having me back. You could have invited someone else to come and stand before you this morning, but you didn't. So please, Church, have to call me. And for that, I'm grateful. Amen. Can I thank John's family Amen. for in the house? Amen. God bless you, Savior. Bless you. Bless you. Come on, for all my sisters in Christ. Thank you for showing up and supporting me. For my daughters in Christ, I love you with the love of God. You know who you are. And I love you. I thank you. I thank God for you. You encourage me. Give me reason to say, I love the Lord. I never had a daughter, but I do now. Amen. And with that, I pray. I'm going to hear a good word if I can go on to this conversation. Far too long. I want to thank my sister in the Lord who's always got my back. Amen. Always. Amen. She tells me when I'm right. You'll get me one up now. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. We don't need a bunch of yes men around us. Yeah. 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 Well, if you would 
stand for the reading of the word. My message today will be coming out of the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 1, verses 17 through 20. Nehemiah chapter 1, verses 17 through 20. And then I'm going to skip on over to chapter 4, verse 1. And he prayed 
intercessory prayers yeah. for the people. Yeah. Uh -huh. And when he felt it necessary, he even prayed for you in precatory prayer as a mighty weapon against his enemy. You know those prayers. Get them, God. <laughs> Get them, God. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> Listen to his prayer. It's found over verse 4, chapter 4, verse 4. And it says, Get them, God. <laughs> it said, Hear, O oh our God, for we are despised. Turn their reproach on their own head and give them as a plunder to a land of captivity. Do not cover their iniquity and do not let their sin be blotted out from before you. For they have provoked you to anger before the builders. Now I'm just going to jump down here to verse 6. After we had prayed, me and I had prayed this preparatory prayer. He said, so we built the wall. <laughs> we let God handle our problems. That's All right. Right. And we All went right. on with the kingdom's business. Uh -huh. right. We went on to do what God called yeah. 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 That's good. That's good. All right. Nehemiah was a courageous spiritual fighter. And that's what we're looking at here in the, in, in the narrative of Nehemiah. All right. Nehemiah was a real prayer warrior. Yeah. He took the stance or the position of a baseball player mounted and ready to knock it out of the park and take his team to victory. Yeah. This is how we need to pray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you, if prayer can't do it, Nehemiah thought, it can't be done. Oh. Yeah. Like Nehemiah, we too need to be spiritual fighters when it comes to prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In this passage of scripture, the wall around the city of Jerusalem had been destroyed by the enemy. And somebody needed to rebuild it for the kingdom of God. In this instance, God chose Nehemiah. What exactly is the purpose of a wall? Well, according to the dictionary, a wall provides protection, privacy, and division. Spiritually, it is designed to keep spiritual problems out. When we pray, women and men of God, when we fight men and women of God, we need to build a spiritual wall up around that which we are praying for. And we need to believe what we pray. We not only need to believe what we pray, but we need to believe in the God we are praying to. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Come on so many times, you know, we tell God that, uh, God, you know, I, I'm having it hard on my job. God, you know, you know my husband ain't saved yet, and, and I need you to save him. No, you need to go to God with a warlike spirit. Yes. Right. And you need to tell that enemy that's messing with your job.
They built that wall. And it didn't take them forever to build it. The Bible said it took them 52 days. 52 days with the help of God. With the help of God. He fasted three weeks. Just like that. Just like that. He turned that plate over. How many times do you know you need to pray because some stuff doesn't go except by prayer and fasting? That's right. That's right. And we pray, but mm, turning my plate over. Uh, that chicken is calling my name. And I just missed a little bit of syrup to go with it. I like syrup. I like blood. He and I turned that plate down. We too need to use every single means that God gives us to fight off the enemy. To tear Satan's kingdom down and to build God's kingdom up. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 And you know, aside from that, we also need to praise God. We need to praise Him. Because God can do some miraculous things. Yes. God can truly make your enemy bless all you. Yes. There's a story you probably have heard, it, but it, it touched my spirit when I was studying my message here. And it talked about this old lady who came out on her porch every morning. And she would raise her hands and arms to the sky and she would shout, Praise the Lord! Well, one day an atheist moved next door to her. And over time, he became very, very irritated with this worshiping woman over there. <laughs> so every morning, he heard her exclamation of praise. He would shout out, there's yes, no Lord! This went on for several months. Then one morning in the middle of the winter, the woman stepped onto her front porch and shouted, Praise the Lord! Lord, please reveal your will to me because I have no food and I'm starving. Please provide for me, oh Lord. The next morning, when she came out on that porch, there were two huge bags of groceries sitting there. She said, praise the Lord. You know how you shout and praise God when he's answered a prayer for you? Yeah. Praise the Lord, she shouted. He has provided groceries for me. Just then, the atheist jumped out of the bushes and shouted, There is no Lord. I bought those groceries without skipping, without skipping a beat. The lady threw her arms in the air and shouted, Praise the Lord. He has provided me groceries and he made the devil pay for them. Especially when you're dealing with 
demonic attack. Amen. Send that nonsense back to hell. Send it back. That's where it came from. Say to yourself, just coming right back to you. Start rebuking some stuff. You don't have to take it. Yeah. Who's report you gonna listen to when the doctor says, I can't help you anymore? Oh, Who's report? Now, right now, Come you better on. listen to the sovereign Lord. Come on. The one who created the doctor. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. The one who owns thousands of cattle and thousands of hills. Yeah.
That's the end of the old and the beginning of the new. Sometimes we need to get right there in the middle. We need to call on the powers of heaven. We need to call on God's mighty hand. Paul and Silas knew how to do that. They prayed and they sang hymns unto God. And I like what the Bible says, the people heard
Yes, go ahead and shut it down. God bless you all. We'll see you on next Sunday.